Howdy everybody, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 45 of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We're gonna do go ahead and do another challenge today, number 9, Demo Man, which I believe is the Dr. Fetus challenge, or one that we got when we unlocked Dr. Fetus only, which would make sense given uh, the sort of loadout we got here. 6JQ74MYK. So you can see we got the matchstick, we got Dr. Fetus, and we have a remote detonator, which means that our tears, we can explode them we, we can either wait for them to explode, or we can explode them, like, on our own, like this. So this should actually not be that bad of a challenge, just, like, looking at it here. It seems pretty, uh, like, a pretty strong build. Honestly, like, at, with Dr. Fetus as your, as your item of choice, Remote Detonator is probably one of the item, one of the mate items you're looking for, just because it makes your tiers so, so much more controllable, you know? But with great power does come great responsibility as well, so we're gonna have to be a little bit more, a little bit more careful, or a little careful not to be too trigger happy on that remote detonator, because if you are, you can quickly uh, erode your HP just by blowing it up in your own face if you're not careful. Looks like we only have to go to Mom's heart still here, so it shouldn't be too bad, honestly. Is it gonna be the easiest challenge we faced so far? I think possibly, yes, honestly. Uh, because what other challenges have we had an easy time with on this, uh, up to, up to this point? I mean, every single one of them we've actually beaten in one go. Some of them have been very, very close, like Suicide King, um, I think. Uh, yeah, see exactly what I'm talking about. I think, um, Highbrow we also had a little bit of a tough time with towards the very end of it, but we, we prevailed on all of them. And I assume the same is going to be true with this one, not to get too cocky here, but... If I could, uh, if I could win all of those without too much trouble, I think this one should be more or less a no-brainer. Of course, I say that, and then, uh, and then it's probably gonna come back to bite me later on. We'll see, though. Realistically, I could just be, like, bombing, uh, bombing through every single room pretty much here. Just, like, throw a bomb at the door and only fight the bosses. This is a strong enough, uh, like, loadout to just win against Mom's Heart basically entirely on its own. The only thing I really need is HP, which I already I already got in the form of some spirit heart some lucky spirit hearts and a uh, and a super bandage. So I don't know. I mean I could do that and make this like a ridiculously short video. But where's the fun in that? Let's we we only get to do these challenges once. Theoretically anyway, like if you if you lose on them then you'll probably get to do them a little more, more than that, but um Oh my god, he just talked over himself, and I was talking over him too, so... A little bit uh, of an overlap there. Yeah, we only get to do them once, we only get to experience this whole thing one time, so... Let's make the most of it while it's here, right? Ooh, Guppy's head. I mean, it's a good item, I'll pick it up. But I think uh, the flavor of this challenge is built into Remote Detonator here. And also, I think Remote Detonator, in this circumstance, is just a better item. For me right now... Gubby's, Gubby's head is stellar in most situations. Right now, it is uh, outclassed by Remote Detonator. Very few options where that is the case. So, uh, relish it while we can here. Also, you may have noticed that there are no treasure rooms on this, uh, on this run. So, that's a thing. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna need them too much here, though. This actually does bring up a bit of an interesting thing, or just kind of a quirky thing I've noticed about, or I've, uh, I know about the challenges here. Is that, um, there's one challenge, I think challenge 11 or something, that it remains locked until we get an item that is actually similar to Dr. Fetus. But that item is, um, it gets unlocked by winning challenge number 19 or something like that. So it's gonna, like, I always thought that was weird, and it always bugged my OCD pretty hard just because it threw me all out of whack in my challenge order because you can't do them all in like chronological order 1 to 35 or whatever it is now solely because of that because you have to beat one of the later challenges in order to unlock challenge number 9 which is always annoying but you know it's not it's not the end of the world obviously a challenge is a challenge it doesn't really matter what number it is necessarily Although I would like to, I have, I have a dream, you know. I have a dream. It's not nearly as noble as uh, Martin Luther King Jr., but I do have a dream of episode 100. Oh God! <laughs> All right, just don't, 
do that. Oh, well. Probably worth the damage taken, honestly. Speed down. Not so good. Bad trip. Not so good either. I will take Liberty Cap over the Matchstick, because all the Matchstick does is make it so we're more likely to find bombs, and clearly we don't really need bombs on this run. What was I saying, though? The Smelter. Ooh, that'd be nice. I don't have the money for it right now, unfortunately, though. Yeah, I have I have a dream that uh, when we get to episode 100 someday, it'll be the purest because I've been doing I've been doing all these challenges in multiples of uh, multiple five episodes. For instance, on episode 50 coming up here, it'll be challenge number uh, number 10. So challenge number 20, the purest, which is one of the more classic iconic challenges, I think, one of the ones that got carried over from um, from the original Isaac. That should be episode 100 if my math holds out. And I believe it does range up. I don't know how that necessarily affects um, Dr. Fetus, if it does at all. It might. I'd honestly be totally fine if uh, with some shot speed upgrades, because I think that'll affect the speed that our bombs fly across the room. Although this range upgrade does seem to have uh, impacted that a little bit as well, so I'm fine with that. Ooh, that guy took a bomb right to the face. Obviously, we're looking for uh, all the classic things that you'd want with Dr. Fetus, like um, any sort of bomb synergies, you know, hot bombs, sad bombs, Mr. Mega, anything like that could be big. It's so one thing I've never really known about Dr. Fetus is whether your, like, the traditional stats actually matter all that much with, uh, with Dr. Fetus. Like, does damage actually make your explosions do more damage, or is it only by getting things like, uh, like Mr. Mega that you can make your bombs do more damage. This is only by upgrading your bombs specifically. That doesn't... I, I don't think that seems like how it should work or how it does work, honestly, though. I feel like when I get a damage upgrade, my bombs do do more damage. <laughs> do do. He said it. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Get over yourselves. All right, so the boss is this way. Thank you, Liberty Cat, for that. Only two bombs against these guys, even when their hoods are down, so... And when their hoods are up, it's just the one, so fine by me. Should I be looking for secret rooms? Yes. The answer to that is objectively yes. And I should be like blowing, doing more stuff like this, blowing up all these mushrooms and stuff. But I'm in such a good spot right now that I just don't feel too obligated to. I really should, though, just because I can. I have infinite bombs. I'm just squandering them at this point. I'm squandering infinity somehow, some way. <laughs> Alright, greed is fine. Steam sale actually could be pretty good. We didn't get it, but we did get a lot of money, so that kind of... It sort of gives me a pseudo-steam sale. Not really, but... Hey, get away from me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was bad. Uh, I tried to block that with my, with my own bomb. Clearly, you saw why that did not work, but it's okay. That could be a super secret room right there, actually. There it is. All right, more spirit hearts, maybe. Yeah, that's that's about right. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, and who's our boss today? You're just plowing through these floors, though. Is all I can say here. Ooh, get that out of my face. Okay, well, that's fine. The black heart did its job. We got an angel room here and a belly button trinket. Uh, got Golden Horseshoe, which is actually worthless for us. Holy Mantle is amazing. I don't think I need... Uh, you need me to tell you that. Alright, one, one Soul Heart out of this. Yeah, with Holy Mantle behind us now, so like we can even take one explosion, one accidental explosion to the face and not even worry about it. We are straight up cruising. We are Terry cruising through this through this run. There's, uh, there's Cricket's head. No reason not to take it, even if it doesn't do anything for our bombs. As far as I know, I don't think I don't think uh, Cricket's head comes with any sort of weird damage downgrade or any or stat downgrade anyway. Go. I've heard from a friend, by the way. This is gonna go over a lot of people's heads if they don't play Overwatch, which I rarely do, but I have some friends who like to play Overwatch, so I kinda kinda got into it. It's one of the it's the only first person shooter that I've ever actually sort of gotten into, and even even with it, I'm not super uh, super addicted to it or anything. But apparently, according to one of my friends, there's a new character is gonna be coming out in at some point in the future here 
called Doomfist, and he's going to be voiced by Terry Crews. And every time I think of that, it's like, am I do I am I wrong? Am I thinking of like a different person? But is isn't Terry Crews the office linebacker from like those videos way back when? Compost is actually a great item, by the way, because it like turns all consumables on the ground into flies and stuff. And I think it also I think it like no, I don't think that's what it does. I think it actually doubles your flies. Or maybe it does both. I don't know. If there's no consumables on the ground, I think it doubles your flies, and otherwise it turns them all into into flies. It's good, but again. We're sticking with the uh, remote detonator for the time being. The odds of a better space item presenting itself are slim to none, I would say. Yeah, because I remember those videos from like way back when. I don't, I don't remember even like what year that was when those videos were were popular, floating around like middle school or whatever. But they were so funny. Just like seeing him just like, <laughs> like I have to go watch those videos again because I hardly even remember what happens in them. I remember like the gist of it, but it's like, I don't know, man. And I'm just, I'm just thinking of like that guy voicing an Overwatch character in like the most dramatic fashion possible. Like he did those, uh, like he did with those, those office linebacker videos. And I'm just like, <laughs> it just makes me laugh my ass off. It's like, hell yeah, I'm going to main, I'm going to main Doomfist just for that reason. Even if he sucks. All right, we got damage and range up. It's fine by me. We got scapular, another a uh, another pretty good option. Probably not going to come into too much play here, but it is a item, an item even. <laughs> All right, liberty cap, want to help me out here? Just making sure that uh, the map doesn't get unveiled and I miss out on it at any point here. Ooh, red bombs. That's from Blood Clot, I guess. That's kind of cool. So it would seem that uh, items like that that boost your damage and stuff do affect bombs in some way or another. Whether it's exactly how you'd expect them to affect it is uh, remains to be seen, I guess. I could like open up Found HUD and probably figure that out for myself, do some uh, scientific deduction. Just need some empirical evidence, you know. There we go. Hmm. There is an interesting play to be had, I think, with this uh, self-sacrifice room. Because they really skip me all the way down to the last floor, and I do have the HP, more or less, to make it work. In theory. I could try that, but, you know, it would be it would be an interesting way to complete the challenge. But I think, uh, I think we'll just settle for, for steamrolling it to the degree that we already have here. Alright, boss is clearly this way. Now that I've exhausted all their possible options. There we go. Yeah, those guys are actually a lot easier to take out with uh, with Dr. Fetus and um, Remote Detonator because you can actually time it much more easily to get past their defenses. Rooms like this are kind of like a bane for me though because those things block, those blocks block the explosion pretty well. As is inherent in the name. Yuck, 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 block. Get it. Is that why they're called blocks? Because they block things? Oh my god, I've just had an epiphany. You gotta wonder, and maybe you don't gotta wonder, maybe this is just me, because I'm an etymology freak. But you gotta wonder, like, where certain things get their names. Like, how did it come into being? And there's always, there's always a relatively simplistic answer for most things, or like a relatively mundane answer at any rate. Uh, I can't think of any examples offhand here, but um, but just like things like you know duffel bag, which is the obvious example, because Rhett and Link used it in a song. And then another thing, just like you can think of just about any word, and be like, where did that come from? And there's obviously some sort of rich history behind most uh, most words. They don't just like appear out of the ether one day, at least not as far as uh, as far as I understand linguistics and stuff. I'm gonna head back this way because the shop is down here. I saw it with a, uh, with Liberty Cap. It's liable to just be super greed, I think, but even if it is, I wouldn't mind, uh, wouldn't mind taking a crack at him. Just showing him how powerful I've become. More powerful than you can ever imagine is the answer. Alright. Uh, Mom's key is... Nothing to uh, turn your nose up at. 
And let's just keep on moving here. 13 minutes. We're about to go up against Mom. This is a run that I would that I could theoretically try to do boss rush on if I see a good reason to. Just just because to add a little extra challenge to the challenge, you know? A little bit of self-imposed challenge here. Well, Mom did get did get my holy mantle charge gone pretty soon there. She might actually get a hit on me for the first time in a million years. Not that Mom doesn't hit me that often, but just on this run I haven't been hit that often. Especially not since picking up Holy Mantle. Oh, that was bad. I, ac I, just, I like accidentally just like flinched and hit the space bar. Oh well, not a big deal, obviously. Yeah, I'll take. Uh, I think I'll take Lord of the Pit. And maybe Gimpy as well. Nah, I'm not liable to get hit enough to make a Gimpy worthwhile. Polyphemus. Uh, I think that one's Adrenaline over there. Dead Tooth, and the Prayer Card. I don't think I want any of these. I mean, this one, the Adrenaline one, I now know what it does. It makes it so that for every empty Red Heart container you have, your damage goes up. Not, uh, It's a cool, cool item in theory. Not something I'm super interested in at the moment. Because I don't really have a great way of, uh, of getting rid of my Red Health to make that work. And even if I did, do I really need extra damage? Which is also why I didn't want to take Polyphemus. Because even though it's a huge damage upgrade, it's also a huge tiers downgrade. So I'd be able to shoot more powerful bombs, but much re less frequently. And I think my bombs are powerful enough as is to make that not even uh, not even a question. Whoa, I didn't even, there was like an invisible bomb there. I just didn't even see it. That's scary. You know what would actually be pretty good here is um is some sort of spectral tiers. If I could get that off my like next deal with the devil, provided there is one, there's only like liable to be one more before it's just the end of the challenge outright. Unless they let me go fight Hush or something. I don't. They generally don't on like things like this where it ends in mom's heart though. So yeah, I would like some spectral tears just to let my bombs like fly over rocks and stuff. That would be uh, that would be about the best way to make this just an even more ridiculously powerful uh, combination. What is this? A spirit heart? I'll take it, man. Don't strictly need it, but I have been taking a little bit more uh, more damage on these past couple fights than uh, than earlier on in the run. Like even before, even if Holy Mantle hadn't shown up, just think about the the run and how many times the Holy Mantle charge has popped. We're, we'd still be good without it. It's not like it's like saved the run or anything here. It's made it it's made it more comfortable. I won't dispute that. What do we got here? We got Dagos. Um, we got, let's see, Dagos again. We got Yera, Dagos, and Ansu's. I guess we'll save, I guess we'll take a Dagos rune. We'll take Ansu's down to the next floor with us, maybe. Uh, 48 Iron Jade. I've just been carrying that around for no specific reason, I suppose. I was actually kind of, kind of hoping for an Awas rune there, so that we could go down to the Mom's Heart fight. And then, uh, and then make our way down to Sheol as well, and uh, keep going with that. Make Satan the final boss fight. Just to sort of, you know, fluff out the length of this video, if nothing else. Oh boy. Because this is probably going to be the quickest video in the in my, in this entire series, if I'm being honest, up to this point. Is there liable to be a challenge that takes less time than this? I think yes, possibly, thinking of some of the challenges upcoming. One of them, like, by definition, I think has to be shorter than this one, so keep that in mind. Just by the very nature of what the challenge itself actually is. I'm sure you can sort of uh, garner what it might be at the very least, just judging by the, by the comments there. Conquest is... Not the easiest boss in the world for this, but certainly not the worst either. There's light beams. I don't know if there's really a good way to know how to dodge those light beams. All right, White Pony is not something we really need right now. And here we got Contract from Below and Sister Maggie. Might as well just take Contract from Below. It could be fun. We got a Spear Heart right out of here anyway, so we can just fill right back up. Alright, so here we are. Let's on Suze. Or Ansa's, like that guy says. Just blow these up. 
they're not liable to be too worth it unless one gave me like an AWAS rune, but the odds of that paying out. I think only the the uh, slot machine could have done that. Possibly not even that. I think it might only be a fortune teller that could do that, and that wasn't even in that room, so. Oh, well. Oh, there you are, Super Greed. I was waiting for you. They always come back. Just picking up the money in case, on the off chance that I do actually get to go down to the hush fight. You never know. I, c I could be wrong. I have been wrong in the past, and I will be wrong again. That much I guarantee. There you go double nickels. Gotta love that contract from below uh, action there. It's a bit of an awkward room, but not so bad in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> I love it when these get chained together, these uh, little Ipecac flies. Just so funny to kind of watch them and just like, keep dodging towards the next one to try and make it uh, as long of a chain as possible. Weird, uh, very weird super secret room. I've never understood the purpose of that one. Don't know if there is a purpose or a significance, maybe some sort of lore explanation. Seems unlikely, but you never know. I didn't make the game. <laughs> So it looks like we're going to get down to and defeat Mom's Heart slash It Lives in less than 20 minutes here, which is actually pretty, pretty amazing. Like, we're still in time for Boss Rush, and we're two, two floors past Boss Rush. That is just how ridiculous this run has been, man. Do I think I'm actually going to beat, beat her within, uh, within the minute here? I think it's theoretically possible. She's probably the hardiest foe that we've come up against to this point. But she's still, she's already halfway down, so I mean, that should tell you something. That's just a race against time at this point. Not so bad. She's helping me out by killing her own minions there, so fine by me. Oh, I got hit at the last second with that Holy Mantle charge. No hush fight, so that's going to be uh, that's gonna be it for Demo Man, I guess. What do we get out of that? The Chaos card. Really? That's the challenge that unlocks that. Interesting. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, see, number 11, it's just like, it's just not there, man. Just not there. Wait, challenge 19 isn't unlocked either. Ooh, I think that's the one I have to do, though, so, to uh, to unlock challenge 11. So we'll see. I don't know. At any rate, um, I guess that's going to be it for this video. It's a bit of a short one today. Sorry about that. But next time, we'll get back into, uh, into the thick of things here, into regular runs, greed mode, all that stuff that we still have to, uh, still have to conquer here. But for now, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and or comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. I post an Isaac video every day at noon mountain time on the dot. So uh, check back tomorrow for another one. That's it for today, though. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.